I hope you guys enjoyed the season opener of Madden Survivor, man. I'm trying to get more creative. I'm really gonna start pulling out the big guns, especially next year, man. It's gonna go crazy. Oh, I'm excited. Now let's get into the good stuff. We are three and one in Wheel of Mud. The Combine promo recently dropped, so there's a lot of new players we can get our hands on. We're currently sitting at a 90 overall with a 91 overall offense and a 90 overall defense. There are significant holes on my team. There are things I want to improve. We've got one of the best wide receivers in the game paired with one of the best halfbacks in the game. Our tight end is awesome. Our fullback is awesome. I'm finally starting to give up a little bit on Malik Willis. I do like him. I think we need somebody with a little better abilities. Defensively, I'm so happy with our new user, Isaiah Simmons. Defensive line is looking a little questionable. My corners are looking amazing with Derek Stingley, Megatron, and Sauce Gardner. Palomalu at strong safety, Daniel Sorensen at free safety. That's a little questionable. And of course, Katie York did drill an iced game winner. That's all she fucking wrote! It's down the screen! Granted, he still sucks. I know he can literally hit iced game winners, but if that, if I didn't get that roughing the passer, that would have been a 50 yard field goal. He cannot hit 50 yard field goals. I think his maximum is 49. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. So without further ado, let's hop into this first wheel spin and see how we can to the squad. I can't forget, I still have a silver wide receiver in, so I wouldn't hate oh, oh, oh my god, finally. Dude, I can't tell you how long this has been in my unopened. This has been in my unopened since Christmas. Now, during the Christmas promo, everyone was supposed to receive a limited fantasy pack for one of the presents, but unfortunately, there was a thunderstorm in the Amazon jungle, and all of the developers at EA had their Tiki Hut destroyed by the thunderstorm. All the orangutans dispersed, and they were unable to distribute this limited fantasy pack properly. So like a week after Christmas, they granted this on my account and a lot of other people got it too. So I've literally had this since probably January 1st. So it's been two months and I've never gotten the wheel spin. This is a limited fantasy pack. It has every single limited player up to January 2nd, something like that. So we're gonna get some nostalgia animations like the snow globe right there. And I can choose one player from this pack. There's gonna be like an absurd arsenal of options. I just don't know what I'm gonna pick. They're all gonna be 95s or better. So there's Scrambler Tom Brady, there's Carmichael, there's Hawkinson who we already have. Strong Safety Bo Jackson who is amazing, but I've got Palomalu. I don't know if I can justify that. I previously had this Cam Newton. He was nice, but I don't want to rock him again. Well, why are we lagging? Isn't it so funny that even these little minor animations on cards will make an Xbox Series X or a PS5 lag? Dude, I could run this animation on a Nintendo 64 and run smoother than this. Ooh, you know what? Chase Young might be a really good option. I wouldn't a left guard upgrade. There's also team of the weeks in here. There's 96 Michael Thomas, 96 Micah Hyde, 96 T.Y. Hilton, 96 Justin Houston, 95 Richard Sherman, 96 Devonta Smith, 96 Jadavian Clowney. This is difficult. How good is this 96 Michael Thomas? I've never seen this Michael Thomas before, but we are short a wide receiver. This is so funny. You try to compare cards and it fucking downsizes them. Who, who coded this fucking game, man? This is such an embarrassing excuse. Six foot three, 95 speed. Devonta Smith has got the same speed and he's six foot. So I, I probably would rock with Michael Thomas if I had to choose there. Although honestly, I think the best options are Chase Young or Quentin Nelson. Michael Thomas or Chase Young? I chase young kids. Well, shit, fuck it. They're slant, man. Hey, Echo, flip a coin. Oh my God, I'm so fucking stupid. I just had him flip a coin and I didn't determine what the... <laughs> I didn't determine what the coin toss was deciding. Listen, I like Michael Thomas, but I'm not gonna rock with Michael Thomas here. I'd rather choose my wide receiver, whereas I'm very happy taking Chase Young. This is gonna be a dominant edge rusher. He's gonna replace Dominique Robinson. I'm hoping he's a stud. In, in fact, I probably should have checked his discounted abilities before I did this. Oh, he gets nasty discounted abilities. Double or nothing is really, really good. So one AP double or nothing, as well as one AP edge threat. I even could throw under pressure on him as well if I wanted to. 
to, can I? I might end up taking under pressure off, but overall, that is a nasty left dead. Let's go. Hopefully, my game can recover from lagging. I know that was a lot to ask of the game to load in a, a fucking virtual, a virtual fucking playing card, man. I know that was a lot to ask. Javon Curse has honestly been amazing, so adding another 95 on the other side of him is gonna be so good. So where is my AP going right now? I'm gonna take under pressure off. I don't think we're gonna have the space for that, but for edge threat and double or nothing, that seems very realistic. So to free up the AP, I'm gonna take mid zone KO off of Isaiah Simmons. He's pretty much always my user, so he's not really gonna use mid zone KO. And no outsiders. I don't think that's all too important on Hassan Reddick. I'll just go speed steer for free. All right, beautiful. Defense now has Chase Young on one edge. Now, another thing to keep in mind is I know Team of the Year is coming out soon. I think it comes out March 9th. You're seeing this video before March 9th for sure. This can be a window of time where hopefully Micah Parsons gets Team of the Year and TJ Hawkinson. All right, our first wheel spin adds a dominant edge threat down here in Chase Young. Super excited to have that. Our second wheel spin. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We get two times pack coin value. So we're going to open two packs. Whatever the value of those two packs combined is, is how much I can spend on one player. Now the good news, like I said, is Combine just came out and Combine actually has some very expensive packs. I can open any pack that costs coins. These are 108,000 coins. My goal here is just to pull anything better than a 90 overall Combine and we will be smooth sailing. Start with Lawrence Guy, 82 overall. There's the Combine animation. 93 Taekwon Thornton. That's huge. That's an amazing start because he's definitely going to sell for good money and a 90 D tackle. All right, so Taekwon Thornton is selling on average for 80K plus 3,000 for Lawrence Guy and another 24K for the D tackle. I'm going to round that out to 105,000 coins. So 105,000 coins on the first pack because, yes, it might have been a little bit more, but there is an auction house tax. And assuming you sold these players, you would get taxed. So 105,000 coins on the first pack. We get Darnell Savage. I got to get over a 90 here. I got to get over a 90 here. Hey, Caleb Barnes. And we get a great Iron Guardian. This could be slightly better. This is going to be the exact same value as the last one. We pretty much hit the median right on the spot. Let me make sure Kalen Barnes isn't like crazy expensive. He's 80K as well. So for 210,000 coins, what would we say is the most important upgrade we can make to this team? Probably a wide receiver unless I wanted Malik Willis out right now. Oh yeah, we are going to get a really good wide receiver. In fact, Auction House is actually kind of tanked right now. Dude, I could grab 94 DK for 135. Mike Williams is damn good. I'm leaning in that direction right now and I'd be stupid to think I could get a 96, right? You know, sometimes when you have a really tough decision between two players, sometimes it's best to say fuck you to both of them and just buy CD Lamb for 207,600 coins. CD Lamb is 6'2", but he has 95 speed and he has great route runs. This is actually like the best middle ground and he's a 95. I also really want to use this CD Lamb. He gets short and elite for free, baby. Hey, what else can you ask for? That's all you need. Short and elite, completely free on CD Lamb. He will not mess up anything on the AP side of my offense. Amazing. All right, baby. Chase Young and CD Lamb. A great start to the episode. Our third and final wheel spin is going to come. Oh, I literally, literally just added this today. One player from a big bundle. So I'm going to choose a bundle from the store. I'm going to give EA my juicy, juicy mommy's credit card. I'm going to... I'm gonna slurp him off. I know. I'm the biggest piece of shit ever. I know. I'm so sorry. AKA is such a cool promo. I love that they did it. I'm gonna go with the AKA new class bundle. I get only one player. So if I pull two amazing players, I only get to choose one. We start out with 92, Raheem Mostert, 89, Teron Armstead. Chris Boyd, our AKA player on this one is 89. Dude, I'm telling you, just give me 94 Rodgers and he'll be my new QB. Patrick Sertan, dude, if I pull PS2, I'm looking for that. Oh, Earl Campbell. I miss Earl Campbell, man. Power up legend Earl Campbell was a savage. Kurt Warner, Malcolm Rodriguez again. TJ Edwards and our AKA player is Malcolm. Wow. Holy shit. The back to back to back to back. Don't give me Malcolm Rodriguez again, man. It's just going to get weird if you give it to me one more time. You don't want to make things weird, do you? Sam Howell. <laughs> What the fuck? Honestly, at this point, they have to do it for me. They have to let me pull the 97. 84 Saquads, 89. To oh, oh, holy shit. Oh, no. Holy shit. Dude, I saw 89 and 2 Jones. I figured that 
was my AKA player. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna move to the next one without looking. 97 Tarana Armstead, the terror. I legitimately did not know this card even existed. 95 streak. Oh my God, he's insane. I could technically upgrade him too since I pulled the 89. I don't know if that's cheating or not. It's gonna be really hard to beat that. I only get one. I only get to take one player from this though. So if I start pulling heat, I'm actually gonna be pissed. Okay, D-Hop, A-Rod, we're good. I, at this point, I would like the rest of the bundle to be dog shit. At this point, okay, Joe Burrow 89 is fine. Like if I pull 97 Joe Shiesty, I'm gonna have a serious decision to make. Carlaftis, A-Rod. Wow, what a pull. A-Rod again, we're fine. PS2, Vita Vea, Fletcher Cox. 94 plus, okay, so here's the toppers. We get 394 plus. First one's Rodrigo. Second one is ace. That's the exact one I wanted to pull earlier. That is kind of a bummer. I would have liked to run him, but I'm definitely taking Teron Armstead over that. And our last 94 plus is a 94. This 94 Denzel Ward is nasty good. Oh no, just kidding. I'm thinking of something else. No question in my mind, we're running 97 Teron Armstead left tackle. You know, fun fact, in a video you guys have not seen yet, I DM'd Will Clapp and a lot of other NFL players, and I asked them to help me build a team, and one of the players that Will Clapp selected was Teron Armstead the Terror. Tons of one AP abilities, threat detector for two, secure all day, and nasty streak. And in the second slot, he gets edge protector, free identity identifier or natural talent. All right, we're gonna go edge protector completely free. I'm gonna run nasty streak as well. So now the Terror, Colton Miller, Kelsey, Zion Johnson, and Juwan Taylor make up my O-line. We've got a new wide receiver in CeeDee Lamb. My offense is decked out. And of course the challenge wheel. The good news is there are very expensive coin packs in the store right now. So if I can complete the challenge wheel, I could grab one of those combine packs. I haven't gotten this one in a long, long time. 12 receptions with one single player. 99 Gronk, 98 Jalen Smith, 98 Keyshawn Johnson. No way I'm gonna get kick returned on by a fullback. Even the sky kick to a fullback. House on me? I need a new fucking kicker. Oh my God, I need a kicker so bad. A minor setback. We're gonna call that a minor setback. We're gonna go get 12 receptions with one player and we're gonna score. Let's bring Hawkinson down and deliver a laser. Now I'm gonna hand off Bo Jackson. I'm gonna run to the left side where my big boy Teron Armstead is. How, why, when? What was that? I'm so tilted right now that I might, might accidentally play a bad game. Let's not do that. Let's just get the ball into Bo Jackson and let's move the rock. I'm gonna go Bo again. He is on top of that, but I do gotta get reception to somebody. Man coverage potentially, I really can't tell right now. It is man coverage. Okay, Malik's got space though. Malik's got space. Let's go, Malik Willis. Dude, I know that first run play was totally whack, but I don't think that's gonna happen again. I'm gonna go right back to the run. They, they are getting some interesting block sheds, but hey, that's five yards right there. Pick up the first. DB fire two press. This is the same defense the last guy ran. Send Bo out to the left. Oh, Bo is open. All right. Ooh, good stiff arm, Bo Jackson. Just tossed Denzel Ward. I'm gonna go Bo again. Look at this. Look at Bo Jackson, man. Workhorse. He does not see Hawkinson at all. All right, first and 10 here. I'm gonna go with the play action. I'm gonna hit Hawkinson. Oh, you're not Hawkinson! Oh, Liam McCullough! It's the end of the first quarter. I used that entire first quarter on that drive. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send Hawkinson up across his face. Oh, CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb! Get in there! The new wide receiver! CeeDee Lamb with an awesome whip route. Found a soft spot in that zone. And he's in. I'm gonna go fake PAT rollout pass. Oh, I'm, do I'm fucking sending it. Let's go. Fake PAT rollout. Let's go. Oh. I'm, it's bottled. Shit, that usually works. All right, last time I sky kicked into the fullback and he housed it. KDR can only kick as far as the five. Just such a bummer. Hey, you know what? We play better defense on that one. I, yeah, it is. It is a Cowboys theme team. But you know what? I haven't seen him play any offense yet. It's gonna go with a handoff here. Nice juke. Got right past my user. Very well played. Second and one. Probably another run play. Oh yeah. Oh. What a counter. That was a beautiful play. He's killing me on the ground. Whip route. Oh, he threw a sketchy one. This is a crucial stop right now. First and ten. He goes to the middle. Now show me some respect. Would you guys stop throwing at my user? I, I, come on, man. Show Isaiah Simmons some respect. All right, first and ten. 
He's looking at Hawkinson. He doesn't see Bo. Let's get it, Bo. I'm getting Bo those 12 receptions. Nine for nine. I had a lot of throws. Oh, wait. Playmaker. Hawkinson. Laser beam! Let's go! Blink Willis is so pissed. I talk shit about him, and he always plays amazing. Another laser? Another fucking laser. He's 11 for 11. All right. He will likely get another opportunity here. He will likely get another opportunity here. Take your time. I probably could have hit B for a touchdown there. He's still only blitzing three. Ooh, I don't have the... Ooh. Oh, what do you say, coach? Fourth and one. Dude, I was tipped on the sideline. I'm gonna fucking YOLO this shit. Let's go, Bo. Let's go, Bo. What a play. Look at Okoye, man. Just, just didn't even look at him. But that is unfortunate to say the least. It's first and 10. He's got a long way to go. He almost lost yards there. Goes with a fullback handoff. I'm gonna call my last time out. It's fourth and seven. He just punts here. That would be like, oh my god, horrible punt. Fucking horrible punt. Jay Jetta's almost housed it. How did you fuck that up so bad? Okay, Cade, you gotta hit this, buddy. Oh, yes, let's go, Cade. You can't talk shit to me about not getting that touchdown because I get my field goal anyway. A two point lead. Bo Jackson is approaching the receptions of 12, but I, I don't think he's halfway. I think he's at five right now. Ooh. Okoye with some nice blocks. I'm going to try and get Bo one more right here. First and 10. Holy shit. Okay, that's a reception, Bo. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no shot. I house this on you. Oh, my God. That was a risky throw in and of itself. 13 for 13, 185. Bo. His drops are really deep. There goes Okoye with a nice block. Cover four drop is bottling the run right now. That's, that is minorly tilting. We got to go pick this up. We got to pick this up. Let's reset the downs. Third and inches. Let's go. Hey, great work, Bo. The abuse never ends. <laughs> That's what my girlfriend says. Ah, let's go, baby. 15 for 15. I'm not, I don't think I've ever thrown a perfect game before. Third and inches, same shit, different day. We're sending Bo at the middle. Ooh, that's a run commit. Oh, the cutback. Patience, 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 Malik. We got to get Michael Irvin in the end zone. It's been so long, Mike. Oh, he might have been there. Malik! Malik Willis is unbelievable today. This is the most electric game he's ever had. 16 to 7, 10 plays, 81 yards, two monster, slow, methodical drives. But we lead 16 to 7. Bo has nine for 87. I need three more receptions to Bo Jackson. He has literally nothing open. Get there. Ooh, great hit, Palomalu. Ooh, that was play action. I did not expect that. Ooh, that is so open. <sighs> Get him. Get him. Hassan. Hassan Reddick. Let's go, baby. I'd be surprised to play action again. It's not. Mine. Mine. I know you want to. Brutal blatant pass interference. Palomalu tries to tackle me. That was 100% pass interference. No, you fuck. I worked my ass off for this. Boo. Boo. Gigantic W. I'd be pissed after that too, dude. That was literal pass interference on Palomalu and it's free interception for Sauce Gardner. First thing I'm going to do is I'm giving an upgrade to Michael Irvin. Every time you get a rage quit, you get an upgrade for Michael Irvin. So he will move to a 90 overall. He is three touchdowns or rage quits away from being maxed out. We lock in our amazing players. Normally here we'd spin the rage quit wheel, but honestly, man, we were so close to that challenge and he kind of just rage quit to get to the dashboard faster because that game was pretty much over. So I'm just going to call it challenge complete. So I get one pack of my choosing from the store that costs coins so i could go with the 108k combine pack but there's a pack that's actually even better gridiron guardian volume 2 fantasy pack get a whole lot of players in this for 200 000 coins this is very expensive so we're gonna say challenge complete i had nine receptions with Bo. i needed three more in that final drive i was gonna get it we get two picks here none of these guys are gonna help our squad right now oh i'd love to pull a kicker though second round has a punter i guess that actually is an upgrade there's david bell boye mafe is actually here look at this stats look at the stats on this 88 overall linebacker 91 speed six foot four good linebacker he's not gonna make my team oh a d tackle would be nice i get a d tackle i'll go punter i'll move to quan graham to d tackle two it doesn't really matter what else i get oh in our final round it oh it glitched out it's two wide receivers nothing really all that good not the best but we do get a minor punter upgrade and a d tackle too all right gentlemen things are shaping up nicely for this squad we move 
move to four and one. One more win takes us to the playoffs. We can afford one more loss with two more losses and we're booted. I feel really good right now. This team is disgusting. A left guard, a quarterback, a kicker. I'm ready for the Super Bowl. Maybe a free safety too. Let's throw a free safety in there and then I'm feeling real good. All right, boys. I love you. What a great start to redemption season. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.